faith, fear, and precaution. When facing a disease as unpredictable as cancer, we often find ourselves navigating a precarious balance between faith, fear, and precaution. Each of these forces pulls at us in different ways, and learning to manage them is key to living with, or even preventing, cancer. These three elements are not opposites. They interact, overlap, and inform one another. Faith provides hope, fear keeps us vigilant, and precaution serves as the practical path that we tread in the middle. Faith, for many, is a bedrock in the battle against cancer. It is what keeps people going when the diagnosis is bleak, when treatments are grueling, and when the future is uncertain. Faith can take many forms. It might be faith in God, faith in modern medicine, or faith in the strength of the human spirit. For me, it has been all three. Through my journey, I have found that faith is not about denying the seriousness of cancer, but rather about trusting that, no matter the outcome, I am not walking this road alone. My faith in God has been a constant source of strength, providing me with the courage to face each day and the assurance that there is a greater purpose beyond my understanding. Yet, even with faith, fear is an inevitable companion. Fear is often viewed as the enemy, something to be conquered or pushed aside. But I believe fear plays a necessary role. Fear reminds us of the seriousness of the situation. It keeps us alert, and it motivates us to take action. When I first received my diagnosis, fear was my immediate reaction. I feared the unknown, the possibility of pain, and most of all, the thought of leaving my loved ones behind. This fear wasn't paralyzing, though. It propelled me forward, pushing me to seek out the best doctors, to educate myself on treatment options, and to prepare mentally and spiritually for the battle ahead. Living with cancer, or even the possibility of it, means living with a certain level of fear. But rather than being overwhelmed by it, I've learned to coexist with it. Instead of letting fear drive me to despair, I use it as a reminder to stay vigilant. Fear keeps me mindful of my body's signals, it encourages me to go to regular checkups, and it makes me cautious about the lifestyle choices I make. It is this healthy respect for fear that keeps us grounded in reality without letting it consume us. And then there's precaution. Precaution is where faith and fear meet practicality. It is the steps we take to mitigate the risks of cancer or, if diagnosed, to manage the disease as best as we can. Precaution is not about living in fear, but rather living wisely. It means acknowledging that while faith is vital and fear is real, we also have a responsibility to take care of our bodies and our health. Precaution is choosing to live a lifestyle that reduces the chances of cancer, eating healthy, exercising, avoiding harmful substances, and staying on top of regular health screenings. Precaution also involves accepting that while we cannot control everything, there are things we can do to protect ourselves and our loved ones. After my diagnosis, I became more vigilant about precaution. I made changes to my diet, focused on mental health, and took steps to ensure I was doing everything I could to fight the disease. But I also understood that precaution is not foolproof. Cancer, as we know, does not always adhere to the rules of prevention. People who live the healthiest of lifestyles can still develop it. It is humbling to recognize that, despite our best efforts, we are not in total control. This is where faith steps in to fill the gaps left by precaution. The relationship between faith, fear, and precaution is complex. Faith encourages us to have hope. Fear reminds us to stay cautious, and precaution gives us a sense of urgency. Together, they form a powerful triad that can guide us through the uncertainty that cancer brings. But perhaps the greatest lesson I've learned is that they are not mutually exclusive. Having faith does not mean denying fear, and being cautious does not mean abandoning faith. Instead, we learn to walk with all three. For those who face cancer, 
or fear the possibility of it, I would say this. Let faith anchor you, let fear keep you aware, and let precaution guide your actions. Each has its role, and together, they can help you navigate the turbulent waters of a cancer diagnosis, or even help you live with the ongoing risk. The challenge lies not in eliminating one for the sake of the other, but in learning how to integrate them into your life. In my experience, living with this balance is not about overcoming cancer or eliminating risk. It's about living fully despite them. I've learned that no amount of precaution guarantees safety, but it is still wise to do all that we can to protect ourselves. Similarly, while fear may never go away, it can be transformed into a source of strength when kept in check by faith. And above all, faith, whether in a higher power, in medicine, or in the strength of the human spirit, remains the pillar that allows us to endure whatever comes our way. In the end, faith, fear, and precaution are like three strands woven together. Together, they form a lifeline strong enough to carry us through the hardest times and to guide us through the uncertainties of life with cancer. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.